TV, you found me. Welcome to my crib. This is the new popcorn in bed studio. Come on in. Okay, this is a newly set up room. New mattress, new pictures. We've got pretty much all of this has been sent to me by fans, subscribers, watchers of the channel. And it's all a treasure. We've got our 100,000 subscriber YouTube play button. This is a real negative from uh, Star Wars Return of the Jedi. We've got a signed picture by Samwise Gamgee himself. I love this picture of all the different bonds, of course, playing poker. You recognize Carly's side of the bed, my side of the bed. Got our mic set up here, and the camera equipment is all on this side. Lots of screens going on. Come on over and look at this shelf. My shelf of treasures. Okay, I know what everyone wants to see on Cribs. The fridge. Okay, you ready? Nice fresky. I need to find a better way to display all these, but these are most of the Bond cars. I like this guy. That's from GoldenEye. And of course, the bed of Popcorn and Bed, where the magic happens. We have a new Helix Matrix, more on that later. Well, it's a tidy room, that's about it. Thank you so much to Helix Mattress for sponsoring today's video. It's time to watch a movie. You guys gotta get out. You gotta leave. Get out. See you at the movies. <gasps> the best part of this new studio is our new mattress. Thank you again, Helix Mattresses sent this to us. Helix are premium mattresses. They are customized to fit your needs and they come shipped right to your door in a box, super easy to set up. It has been the best experience. We have had this janky old mattress since the channel started, so it was definitely time for an upgrade. I love how custom it is. So you go on their site, you take this quiz. Are you a side sleeper, back sleeper? I'm a side sleeper. Do you like soft? I like soft, firm, you know, and they um, match you to the mattress that they think is gonna be best for you. So I got the Midnight Lux, and it has been so nice. I spent a lot of time in this bed, and you guys know how much I love bed. Helix mattresses have a 10-year warranty, and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans, so a great night's sleep is never far away. And now I'm gonna have to upgrade my master bed because I wanna sleep down here every night. I am no longer having back and butt pain even if I'm watching a four hour movie. I've had many naps down here. Our guests love it, everyone wants to know what it is. I love that it's fiberglass free and it's a 100 night sleep trial. So if you don't like it, they will take it back. As a working mom, I probably do not get enough sleep, but that means that when I do get sleep and I'm in my bed, I wanna fall asleep fast and I wanna have good restful sleep with no pain and no tossing and turning, and Helix will help with that so much. They are having an amazing President's Day sale right now. 25% off everything, plus two free pillows, free shipping always, right to your door. It's time to upgrade. So check out the Helix site for more details on their sale. And thank you again, Helix, for sponsoring this video and upgrading my sleep to premium. Let's go, Kill Bill. Hello everybody, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a great week so far. I'm so happy to be watching a movie with you tonight. Weirdly, I am excited for this movie tonight. So I watched Kill Bill 1, okay? Volume 1. And that was quite the shock to the system. Like, the sheer splashing, gushing of bodies was hard to watch, but it ended and I weirdly was like, I want more because there was not a resolution. So I know I've seen some comments like, well, technically volume one and volume two make up 
the first movie. So I kind of had to watch volume two. Not only did I want to, but also won a YouTube members poll for the next sequel I should watch. I watched a bunch of movies recently that apparently have wonderful sequels. Grumpier, Old Men, Crocodile Dundee 2, Three Men and a Baby's sequel, and then this one, and this was our winner. Like I said, I'm weirdly excited to watch this. Uh, the story was intriguing. Who is this mysterious Bill? He seems pretty evil, so we'll get to that. Of the Quentin Tarantino movies I've seen, I loved once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and this is probably, Kobo One was probably my second favorite. I had a really, really hard time with Pulp Fiction. I saw Django before the channel, that was a tough watch. And I saw Inglorious Bastards before the channel, and I really liked that. There are scenes <laughs> that will never leave my head, I'm pretty sure. You probably know the same ones I'm thinking of. Anyways, here we go. Don't forget, Patreon, like, subscribe, YouTube members. Um, oh, okay. Uma Thurman, here we come. You're finally sadistic. Yes. You know that there's nothing sadistic in my actions. This is me and my most masochistic. Well, it's your baby. Again, I had to see it again. Actually, Bill's last bullet put me in a coma. Coma I was to lie in for four years. I went on what the movie advertisements refer to as a roaring rampage of revenge. And I got bloody satisfaction. Yes, she did. But I have only one more. The last one. Bill. The one I'm driving to right now. She still doesn't know that her baby's alive. I am. Chapter 6, a massacre in two parts. That's what the newspapers called it. The local TV news called it the El Paso, Texas Wedding Chapel Massacre. How many got killed and who killed them changes depending on who's telling the story. The massacre didn't happen during a wedding at all. It was a wedding rehearsal. You may kiss the bride. Don't stick your tongue in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's saw Bill, right? <laughs> Y'all got a song? How about Love Me Tender? I'd play that. Let me tender be great. Rufus? Who was that you used to play for? Rufus Thomas. Rufus Thomas. If they come through Texas, I'd play with them. Samuel L. Jackson. You have no family? Well, I'm working on changing that. This bitch is starting to piss me off. I'm gonna go outside and get some air. What? So she knew Bill before this. How did she get away from him? And why was he training young women to be like fixing devil killers or whatever? Hello, kiddo. How did you find me? The man. That's Bill? What are you doing here? A moment ago, I was playing my flute. That's Bill. This moment, I'm looking at the most beautiful bride these old eyes have ever seen. Are you gonna be nice? I've never been nice my whole life, but I'll do my best to be sweet. I was told your sweet side is your best side. I guess that's why you're the only one who's ever seen it. I'm scared. Have you seen Tommy? Big guy in the tux? Yes. You promised you'd be nice. No, I said I'd do my best. That's hardly a promise. What does your young man do for a living? He owns a used record store here in El Paso. And what are you doing for a... J-O-B these days. I work in the record store. They're on good terms here. It's, it's gonna be a great environment for my little girl to grow up in. As opposed to jetting around the world, killing human beings? Precisely. Well, my old friend, to each his own. I am looking forward to meeting your young man. I happen to be more or less particular who my gal marries. You want to come to the wedding? Only if I can sit on the bride's side. You'll find it a bit lonely on my side. Your side? Always was a bit lonely. I had the loveliest dream about you. Oh, here's Tommy. Call me Arlene. You must be Tommy. Uh-huh. Arlene's told me so much about you. Honey, you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'd like you to meet my father. <laughs> oh, my God. The name's Bill. Well, it's great to meet you. Bill. Isn't it supposed to be bad luck for the groom to see the bride in her wedding dress? I guess I just believe in living dangerously. 
Please don't hurt him. I just don't want to. You don't owe me a damn thing. If he's the man you want, then go stand by. Oh my gosh, knowing what he's gonna do, that's so messed up. She, she liked him. Was it jealousy? That why he killed everybody? What the hell? I still don't get it. You telling me she cut her way through 88 bodyguards? Oh, that wasn't really 88 of them. They just called themselves the crazy 88. They all fell under her Hanzo sword. She got a Hanzo sword? He made one for her. Didn't he swear a blood oath to never make another sword? It would appear he has broken it. For her to kill Bill. I know this is a ridiculous question before I ask it, but you haven't by any chance kept up with your sword play. <clears throat> I pawned that years ago. You hawked a Hattori Hanzo sword. It was priceless. <laughs> <laughs> Not in El Paso, it ain't. <laughs> in El Paso, I got me $250 for it. If she wants to fight with me, all she's got to do is come down to the club and start some sh**, and we'll be in a fight. I thought she only had one more person to kill. Can we just forget the past? That woman deserves her revenge. Wow. We deserve to die. But <laughs> then again, so does she. I pictured Bill to look like a James Bond. I'm not sure which James Bond, but like very like like, you know, very posh. And I don't know, that's what his voice sounded like. I don't know what car was you worked before you came here that let you stroll in 20 minutes late. There ain't nobody out there. What's your plan? That you're not needed here? My point is, I'm the bouncer, and there ain't nobody out there to bounce. What are you trying to convince me of exactly? That you're as useless as an all right here? Let's go to the calendar. It's calendar time. Okay, you working tomorrow? Mm. No, you're not. You don't even know what f***ing day you work. Are you working Wednesday? Here you are. There you go. Working Thursday? Yeah. Mm, I don't think so. I don't... There's your name. You say so. There used to be your name. Okay? <laughs> what is happening? F***ing with your cash is the only thing you kids seem to understand. I want you to go home till I call you. Till I call you. Before you leave, talk to Rocket. She's got a job for you to do. Times when I told you, don't wear that fing hat here. Is he okay? Uh, customers wear hats. Uh, not the boss of the customers. And I'm telling you that I want you to keep that sh kicker hat at home. Oh. That was quite the exchange. Wonder if it was important. <laughs> Sometimes little things in Quentin Tarantino movies just go on like that just because. Sometimes I like it, sometimes it bugs me. I wonder how he went from assassinating people all over the world to this. How many times have you heard someone say He knows though. I don't like that Bill implies that it's only because of the sword that she's winning everybody and killing them so easy. Because that one girl that everyone was like, she's the best there is, like the most brutal, the caveman ball. But I'm rich here. <laughs> A shotgun in her chest? Oh my gosh! How is she? Oh, How no is she coming? A badass with a double dose of rock salt. <laughs> I can't even imagine how bad that sh must stink. What happened to that lady deserves her revenge and we deserve to die? Oh, 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 oh. What? The actual crap. 
Bill. Wrong brother, you hateful bitch. But... Bingo. And to what do I owe this dubious pleasure? I just caught me the cowgirl. Ain't never been caught. Did you kill her? Well, not yet, I ain't. I shot her full of rock salt. She's so gentle right now, I could perform her coup de gras with a rock. Anywho. You didn't shoot her with a bullet? Guess what I'm holding in my hand right now. Brand spanking new Atari Hanzo sword. That's what I call sharp. How much? Well, that's hard to say, being that it's priceless and all. You get your bony ass down here first thing in the morning. I thought she killed her already. One condition. She must suffer to her last breath. That hell, darling, I can pretty much damn well guarantee. What did she do to you guys? Show me that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. You got anything to say? I was actually feeling sorry for Bud. White I was... women call this the silent treatment. You got the feet, I get the head. You're going underneath the ground tonight. What is actually wrong with you? <sighs> I can't. Oh my gosh. They're literally nailing it? <sighs> Oh, this is horrifying. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She's tied up in an alien coffin below six feet of dirt. Stop it! Oh, yet. Oh. Oh. This is so panic inducing. <sighs> There's literally nothing. There's literally nothing she could do. Oh my gosh. If she gets out of here, I don't even want to think about what she's going to do to Bud. Crudal? The crudal? The cruel? Tutelage? The crudal, the crudal, the cruel toothage of Pei Mei. Some believe around the year one double three, head priest of the White Lotus Clan, Pai Mei was Pai Mei. walking down a road, contemplating whatever it is that man of Pai Mei's infinite powers would contemplate. When a Shaolin monk appeared on the road, as the monk and the priest crossed paths, Pai Mei, in a practically un fathomable display of generosity gave the monk the slightest of nods. The nod was not returned. Now was it the intention of the Shaolin monk to insult Pai Mei, or did he just fail to see the generous social gesture? The next morning, Pai Mei appeared at the Shaolin temple and demanded of the temple's head abbot that he offer Pai Mei his neck to pay the insult. The abbot at first tried to console Pai Mei, only to find Pai Mei was inconsolable. So began the massacre of the Shaolin Temple and all 60 of the monks inside at the fists of the White Lotus. And so began the legend, Pai Mei's five-point palm exploding heart technique, the deadliest blow in all of martial arts. He hits you with his fingertips, five different pressure points on your body as you walk away. But once you've taken five steps, your heart explodes and you fall to the floor, dead. Did he teach you that? No. He teaches no one the five-point palm exploding heart technique. One of the things I've always liked about you, kiddo. Stop calling her kiddo. Is you appear wise beyond your years. This guy seems like a manipulative cult leader. He'll accept you as his student. What happened to you? Not a friendly contest. Why did he accept me? Because he's a very, very, very old man. They get lonely. It has no effect on their dispositions, but it does teach them the value of company. 
When will I see you again? That's the title of my favorite soul song of the 70s. When he tells me you're done. When do you think that might be? That, my dearest, depends entirely on you. This is so confusing. So here's where she becomes and learns the fighting? Does she even want to do this? Sifu,你個韓語好差。我一個字聽唔到,以前好似,我教你講嘢你係唔對講,你韓語好啊,定係講得話好啊。我speak I am proficient in Tiger Crane style, and I am more than proficient in the exquisite art of the samurai sword. <笑>你知唔知道我會殺人啊? <笑> 如果我輸給你的話 Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> Is he human? <笑>你跟其他美國女人一樣 你想不想我跟他打一個套拳?Yes! <笑> Why? Ow, ow. Oh my gosh, I'm such a freaking it's so mean. A montage. Oh, will those knuckles ever work properly again? Oh, this is painful. You got to hold your cow at your home, sit here. 我就比好像狗一樣,在這邊住。如果你好像人一樣的話,你可以發現。This is how I look trying to use chopsticks under normal circumstances.
بود Do you think she actually had to go in this box to film this? Okay. She looks really good with an eye patch. She's on bare feet. How much can one human take? Two for one special. I remember what that means. What's the name on the grave she's buried under? Paula Schultz. Can I look at the sword? That's my money right there in that red bag, isn't it? It sure is. Well then, it's your sword now. Bill tells me you once had one of these of your own. Yeah, once. Oh my gosh, she's just gonna kill him and then keep her money. So, which are you filled with? They say the number one killer of old people is retirement. People got a job to do. They tend to live a little bit longer so they can do it. I've always figured that warriors and their enemies share the same relationship. So now that you're not going to have to face your enemy no more on the battlefield, which are you filled with relief or regret? A little bit of both. Or shit. Why? I'm sure you do feel a little bit of both. But I know damn well that you feel one more than you feel the other. I never saw anybody buffalo Bill the way she buffaloed Bill. Bill thought she was so damn smart. And I tried to tell him she was just smart for a blonde. Ouch. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. I just keep waiting for her to kill him. I'm sorry, bud. That was rude of me, wasn't it? I'd like to introduce my friend, the Black Mamba. You know, before I picked that little fella up, I looked him up on the internet. Fascinating creature, the Black Mamba. Isn't Bill going to be really mad? That's his brother. The saying goes, in the bush, an elephant can kill you, a leopard can kill you, and a Black Mamba can kill you. But only with the Mamba is death sure. Hence its handle, death incarnate. Mm -hmm. Why isn't she afraid it's gonna bite her? Its neurotoxic venom is one of nature's most effective poisons. A bite to the face or torso can bring death from paralysis within 20 minutes. You should listen to this, because this concerns you. If not treated quickly with anti-venom, 10 to 15 milligrams can be fatal to you. However, the black mamba can deliver as much as 100 to 400 milligrams of venom from a single bite. In these last agonizing minutes of life you have left, let me answer that question you asked earlier more thoroughly. Right at this moment, the biggest R I feel is regret. That maybe the greatest warrior I have ever met met her end at the hands of a bushwhacking, elky piece of shit like you. Why is she not scared of the snake? I have some tragic news. 
Your brother's dead. I'm so sorry, baby. She put a black mamba in his camper. I got her, sweetie. She's dead. Let me put it this way. You ever start feeling sentimental? Go to Barstow, California. When you get here, walk into a florist and buy a bunch of flowers. Then you take those flowers to Huntington Cemetery on Fuller and Guadalupe. Look for the headstone marked Paula Schultz and lay them on the grave. Because you will be standing at the final resting place of Beatrix Kiddo. Beatrix Kiddo. Melanie Harhouse? Here. Beatrix Kiddo. Here. Beatrix Kiddo. Why? Oh. She can't get out of the case. Ooh. Box shot. Okay. Ouch. Frick. It hurts. It hurts to watch. Was that a spit can? Woof. That's her name. The Black Mamba. Oh, sick, 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 sick. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate watching it. Can it please be over soon? To my brother Bud, the only man I ever loved. Bill. He still has his. What's that? Bud's hands on sword. He said he pawned it. Guess that makes him a liar now, don't it? The hell? Something I've always been curious about. Just between us girls. What did you say to Pi May to make him snatch out your eyes? I called him a miserable old fool. Bad idea? I killed that miserable old fool. How do you like the fish head? Miserable old fool. <laughs> and I told him to me. The word of an old fool like you is worth <laughs> less than nothing. <laughs> oh my. And now I'm gonna kill you too. With your own sword, no less. Which in the very immediate future become my sword. <gasps> you don't have a future. I don't wanna watch more. Maybe the snake can just get her. One wasn't as bad. Did you take both Hanzo swords? Last chapter. Here's my fear. I feel like B Bill has a power over her. And now with the daughter thing, it's gonna distract her, make her lose her focus for a second. Like most men who never knew their father, Bill collected father figures. The first was Esteban Vajeo. Esteban was a pimp and a friend of Bill's mother. He ran a brothel in Acuna, Mexico for over 50 years. His army, the Acuna Boys, made up of the fatherless offspring of his whores. Oh. Um, Senor Esteban Vajeo? Yes. May I join you? Only on the condition that you call me Esteban. May Is I join you, Esteban? How may I be a service to you? Where's Bill? You must be Beatrix. Why'd they hide her name for her from us? I remember when Bill was only five years old. I took him to the movies. Even the movies, Thor and Lana, Thor. The postman always ring twice with Joker Fields. And whenever she would appear on the screen, Bill would begin compulsorly to suck his thumb to an obscene amount. This boy was a fool for bronze. Being a fool for a woman such as yourself is always the right thing to do. I don't like him. You would have been my number one lady. Thank you so much. 
Where's Bill? Where's Bill? Bill is like a song to me. So... Do you know why I help you? Yes, mm. why? Because he will want me to. Now that I don't believe. How oh, are he ever going to see you again? Oh, I thought for sure she was going to kill him. No sneak attack? Is this a trap? It's got to be a trap. Bang, bang! Oh, got us, baby. Got us. Die. Little did Quick Draw Kiddo know that little BB was only playing possum. The fact that she was impervious to bullets. Impervious to bullets, Mommy. Hey, get back down there. As the smirking killer advanced on what she thought was a bullet-ridden corpse, that's when little BB fired. Bang, bang! She's calling her mommy. Oh! BB! I should have known. You are the best. Oh my gosh. Oh, mommy, don't die. I was just playing. I know. I told her you were asleep, but that one day you'd wake up and come back to her. And she asked me, if mommy's been asleep since I was born, then how will she know what I look like? To which I replied, because mommy's been dreaming of you. He is cruel. Did you dream of me? I dreamed of you. Every single night, baby, every single night. I waited a long time for you to wake up, mommy. Crap. I didn't know he was raising her. My, 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 what a pretty little girl you are. Tell mommy what you said when I showed you her picture. Shy mm -hmm. girl. Come on. You know what she said? She said, you're the most beautifulest woman I ever saw in the whole white world. That's the truth. That's what she said. You shot her mom in the you know, head, sweetie, you freaking monster. I kind of mad at daddy. You mean a bad daddy? I'm afraid I was. I was a real bad daddy. Whoa. I shot mommy. Not pretend shooting like we were just doing. I shot her for real. Stop it! I was very sad. And that's when I learned some things, once you do, they can never be undone. Oh my gosh. It doesn't hurt anymore. Did it make you sick? No. It made me sleep. That's why I haven't been with you, Bibi. I've been asleep. Bibi, would you like Mommy to watch a video with you before sleepy time? I'm Mom? scared. Oh, yeah. I would love to. I'm very mm. conflicted. Shogun Assassin. No, Bibi. Shogun Assassin is too long. No, it's not. Shogun Assassin? Mm -hmm. For a four-year-old? What is that? My father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. And he was the shogun's decapitator. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. Okay, maybe like Cinderella. I want Bill to get what's coming for him. But then that means the man she knows as her father and doesn't know is an evil, horrible human who shot a pregnant lady in the head and murdered countless, countless, countless other people would be gone. So maybe he should just go to jail forever. He'd still be gone. It's okay, they don't need him. She missed everything though. Not everything, but she missed such a good, good chunk. He took that from her. I couldn't believe it. You got him to make you sore. I just dropped your name, Bill. That'd do it. I suppose the idea is we cross Hanzo swords. Right? Well, it just so happens this hacienda has its own private beach. That private beach just so happens to look particularly beautiful, bathed in moonlight. And there just so happens to be a full moon out tonight. If you want a sword fight, that's where I suggest. If you want to be old school about it, then we could wait until dawn and slice each other up at sunrise. Real life, honestly. If you don't settle down, I'm gonna have to put one in your kneecap. I hear tell that's a very painful place to get shot in. <laughs> Their baby is asleep I'm up. Freaking serious. Well, How do you suppose we solve this dilemma? Well, it just so happens I have a solution. Ah! Gotcha! <laughs> my greatest invention, or at least my favorite. Don't touch it, or I'll stick another one right in your cheek. What lies within that dart 
is an incredibly potent and quite infallible truth serum. I call it the undisputed truth. Twice as strong as sodium pentothal with no druggy after effects. Except for a slight wave of euphoria. I thought mm -hmm. he realized he took something he could never take yeah. back. I'm quite keen on comic books. I find the whole mythology surrounding superheroes fascinating. Uh. Superman. Not a great comic book. Not particularly well drawn. <sighs> but the mythology. The mythology is not only great, it's unique. How long does this shit take to go into effect? Just long enough for me to finish my point. Oh, joy. Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. Superman's Clark Kent. Get on with it, Bill. He has to put on a costume to become Spider-Man. Superman was born Superman. And Superman wakes up in the morning, he's Superman. His alter ego is Clark Kent. His outfit with the big red S. That's the blanket he was wrapped in as a baby when the Kents found him. Glasses, the business suit. That's the costume. Okay. Clark Kent is Superman's critique on the whole human race. Beatrix Kiddo and Mrs. Tommy Plimpton. The point emerges. You would have worn the costume of Arlene Plimpton, but you were born Beatrix Kiddo. And every morning when you woke up, you'd still be Beatrix Kiddo. Are you calling me a superhero? I'm calling you a killer. Did you really think your life in El Paso was going to work? No. But I would have had baby! I think you would have been a wonderful mother. But you are a killer. All those people you killed to get to me felt damn good, didn't they? Yes. Every single one of them? Yes. Why did you run away from me with my baby? Do you remember the last assignment you sent me? Of course. Lisa Wong. The morning I left, I was sick. On the plane, I threw up. So I started thinking. Maybe I was pregnant. As soon as the line appears in the window. Okay. He does like the foot shots, doesn't he? What I didn't know was that somewhere on my journey I had been spotted. With me in L.A., it didn't take Lisa Wong long. Hello, I'm Karen Kim. I'm the hospitality manager of the hotel. I have a welcome gift from the management. <laughs> Oh, M. You pretty good with that shotgun? I'm better than Annie Oakley, and I got you right in my sight. So let's talk. I just found out right now that I'm pregnant. Bullshit. I'm the deadliest woman in the world. Is that true? Right now, I'm just sketching this for my baby. I don't know what this shit means. So it makes a difference to her? Remove the cap and urinate. Blue means pregnant. I'll read it myself, thank you. Oh. Okay, say I were to believe you, what then? Just go home. I'll do the same. Congratulations. <gasps> I was a woman, I was your woman. I was a killer who killed for you. Before that strip turned blue, I would have jumped a motorcycle onto a speeding train for you. But once that strip turned blue, I could no longer do any of those things because I was going to be a mother. Can you understand that? Well, why didn't you tell me then instead of now? Once you knew you'd claim her, and I didn't want that. Not your decision to make. But it's the right decision, and I made it for my daughter. She deserved to be born with a clean slate. She would have been born into a world she shouldn't have. And that's what ended up happening anyways. When you never came back, I naturally assumed Lisa Wong or somebody else had killed you. Oh, and for the record, letting somebody think somebody they love is dead when they're not is quite cruel. I mourned you for three months. And in the third month of mourning you, I tracked you down. I was trying to track down the assholes I thought killed you. So I find you. This is, I, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Not only are you not dead, you're getting married to some fucking jerk. And you're pregnant. I overreacted. You overreacted? Is that your explanation? I said I was going to tell you the truth. Let's get literal. I'm a killer. I'm a murdering bastard. You know that? And there are consequences to breaking the heart of a murdering bastard. Was my reaction really that surprising? Yes, it was. Could you do... What you did, of course you could. But I never thought you would or could do that to me. 
I'm really sorry, kiddo, but you thought wrong. Apparently, because he's a sociopath. You and I have unfinished business. You ain't kidding. Right now? What if baby wakes up? Plan A taught you the five-point palm exploding heart technique. Of course he did. No, you're not a bad person. Does he have to take five steps? You're a terrific person. You're my favorite person. But every once in a while, you can be a real cunt. Are... Mm, what are we gonna see? Keep your sword up, lady! Oh, gosh. Oh my gosh. Actually, please don't go check on him. And then he'll stab you in the heart. Please, 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 please. Please show me a happy ever after with him. Do you have a magpie in your home? You are most fortunate. The magpie is the most charming bird in all the world. And always remember... Why am I so scared? The magpie deserves your respect. Que bonitos ojos tienes Debajo de esas dos cejas that part hurt my feelings so bad. They're even showing all the people from the first one. Ah! Tommy pooped in. Oh yeah, what? That was like the... David Cutting. Oh, sweetness. You know I love a backstory, and that's what that gave me. I got my answers, mostly. Except like how he found her, and why he was like a deadly assassin collector and himself. But you finally get her motives, the history, his motives. Guys, I think Quentin Tarantino likes a happy ending. And my two favorite Tarantino movies are now Kill Bill and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And it was kind of a beautiful scene with her crying on the bathroom floor and saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. At first I was like, is she saying thank you because like she completed her revenge mission? But like, no, it was because her baby was alive who she thought was dead and she got to be a mom. And in that way, it was like a really sweet ending. I liked how different it was. And maybe I had the upper hand because I saw a lot of comments that said like, it's different. And so I wasn't expecting it to be the same as the first, not even though I not necessarily wanting it to be the same as the first, that kind of movie. Like it was less kill hundreds of people over the course of two hours, but I liked the storytelling of this and the flashbacks and the history. Like, I really liked it. This would have been one that I would have before told you, but definitely before the channel, that I never would have liked a movie like this. And I did, and that's weird, even to like, literally watch someone's eye being gouged out, and I'm like, I'm into it. <laughs> um. Uma Thurman was good, like really good. I just want to look at her face all the time. Like I said in the reaction, Bill was so different than I expected, but like the more he talked and I saw his face to voice, it did kind of merge at the end. But um, yeah, I really liked it. Okay, thanks so much for watching along with me. Who knew? Have a good night. <laughs>